All right, we're gonna try out the Hario Pegasus here with the Q usual, the usuals. So, one cup, two cup. Yeah, so one cup, two cup. And the yes. interesting thing about this is it is kind of like a Melita or uses these like trapezoid filters, but it has the Hario geometry on the top there. We're gonna try Cafec trapezoids, the O2 one. We don't have O1. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But it's supposed to be for beginners. So you can just put water in it and yeah. So this is like what a normal Melita is. As you see, you have the straight walled lines and then the Pegasus has the V60 geometry or kind of like the ridges, but it's still fit. Uh, it still has like that kind of um, V shaped <laughs> that ends up <laughs> becoming the, um, like a Melita. But wait, so we got how many holes on the bottom there? Um, two. We got two holes on the bottom, and then the Melita style has, I think, three or four. So both use trapezoid filters. Okay, so we're gonna try this guy out. So what's your dose here? Twelve. Okay. This is the first brew. We've never brewed coffee on this thing ever. That is actually true, yeah. Yeah, this is literally the first brew. We brought it over yesterday, and then we were like, oh, shoot, we don't have any... You want to level the... Yeah, it was like, we don't have any uh, trapezoid filters. Not trapezoid filters. So now we're trying again today. Did you freeze the cup of cookies I gave you? Oops. Well, that's fast flow. Wait, this thing is, wait, this is really fast. Wow, look at that. That's so fast. This is the same grind size we use for Two holes, but I think it's because of the V60, like the ribs. Wow. Hey, this is the same grind size we use for other uh, drippers. Yeah. Look how fast that is. For five pours, yeah. Uh, wow. It's 200. Yeah, okay. Well, it's going fast, so you gotta watch it. Yeah. Do you need the leaf? I mean, you can manually agitate, but you, you know, you shouldn't have to. This is for noobs. We just pour water, it should be good. Oh, you have the other one. How do I zero this thing? Yeah, look at how fast that know. is. Is this the one that comes with the... The flow rate has also basically been steady this entire time. Yeah, even across all of these pours. Four pours, 12 to what, like 200? Yeah, exactly 200. We can do 210, I guess. Just bring it a little but look at, look at that, it's still consistent this entire time. Well, these trap these filters are also really good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, these are kind of like T90s, right? Yeah. But trapezoid. Yeah, back up. But the flow rate is great. That's cool. The bed is still kind of funny looking because it's obviously not a perfect circle. You know, they kind of ridge down like that. Yeah. So it's kind of like an oval. But that's fast. Right All right, we're gonna try some of the the coffee off of this guy. What coffee is this, and what what did we brew this on? This is SPP or the right the right one. EK forty three B. Okay. No A A A. A. Oh god, actual, A for good, actual. A for actual. Okay. Yeah, and then this is what? Oh, this is. Yeah. So this M O three. Diego Bermudez. Diego Bermudez. Okay, is this your roast? Whose roast is this? Ikawa. Oh, <laughs> raindrop, raindrop. What do we think? It doesn't feel like the other Diego's. It's got that uh, milky cakiness. Uh, let me see. Let me see what he's done to this bean. Let, let's, let's Double see. anaerobic. Pluveromyces lactics. Microorganisms. What? <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like some trade secret stuff. Okay, so wash with thermal shock. It's thermal shock. Wash. Special fermentation. Yeah. Uh, Brian, it is. Blossom spicy, lime and cinnamon. Okay, so it's kind of milky cakey. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, look, the flavor is Yeah. Also, what are these like speedometer data for these? So that's really interesting. Is like, I mean, it kind of tastes like a V60. It, it kind of tastes like a V60. There's like kind of some more rounding usually on like flat bottom. I don't know. Yeah, it's one step past the cleanness. Yeah. Right. 
So like, but this is like ninety percent like a V sixty. I feel like. Yeah, we can. I can brew this. But let's gonna we'll brew more. Because I have sake. I brewed yesterday. Okay. On a different on an Oreo. Okay. Was this easier than a V sixty? This is quite. Well, if I had the tap filter. What's the pour structure like? Back and forth. Oh, I didn't do it correctly, so I. Oh well, you just did like circle points. I just did circle like V sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he did, he did ovals, and it turned out pretty good. I mean, it just tastes like the V60, but like, I don't know, I guess if you pour water over something that is 90% like a V60, that it's pretty, pretty close, I guess. How, how, how are you supposed to pour these things? The Pegasus does make okay coffee off of one brew. I mean, it tastes like a V60. It doesn't have that like, maybe necessarily super like sweet finish that you might find out of some are like higher agitation V60s and doesn't have that like roundedness well, yet, but right? but we are, yeah, we didn't really agitate that. We just, we just brewed it normally. What if we agitate after the boom? Yeah, so we're gonna try, we're, we'll try like brewing it, we'll try to set different pouring structures and we'll see. We're just trying to figure out this dripper right now. But initial impressions is it's pretty decent. It's also flows really, really fast. This time we're gonna add some agitation. The first part we just did is like, let's just pour water over it and see what happens. It tastes like a V60, I guess. Yeah, look at how fast that water flows through. Is this like another, is this like basically like a new Mugen? <laughs> yeah, it's for, it's for noobs, just pour water over it. A tra trapezoid Mugen? Tra yeah, it's like a trapezoid Mugen, maybe. Let's see if you start agitating if it stalls. Okay. I mean, we are we are using um, Kafek, uh, Abaca's style of filters, and those are hard to stall. Wait, are these like normal Abacas, or like how do these things work? Don't know. Okay. Those are Kafek Abacas. Yeah, but it's just in trapezoid form. They're not labeled as Abaca. Okay. So you're doing heavy agitation. Flow rate is still really good, and then let's see if you do like... I guess you have to do side to side agitation. Uh, and then we went WDT. Okay, let's see like if we can... If the flow rate goes real bad after this. But if you see this, look at that. It's still, look how fast it's still going. Do you actually have a oh, small it's way slower now. Well, I mean. Oh, there's no fluid. Yeah, there's no fluid because we were blooming. Dive fluid. Okay. Oh, look at how fast That's that good. still is. Yeah. No, this is still good. Wow. Oh no, what if this is the best brewer? <laughs> no, this could be the best brewer. You did a ton of wet WDT and no, it doesn't stall at all. Hey, you should measure the extraction of this too. It's not gonna stall, it has the Caffex. Is it just the power of Caffex? Oh yeah, maybe this is the power of Caffex. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that means that the Caffex plus this brewer is a good combo. Right? right, yeah. But I mean, like the earlier brew that I had is pretty good. You know, it's all, it's all tasty. I mean, it just tastes like a good brewed V60, like 90% V60 like with maybe, you know, okay, with this high agitation. So this is definitely exactly how I would brew V60 with like, do you want to do like any ending agitation? Oh, like, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an X bloom? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The... yeah, like side to side agitation. But with these, it makes sense, right? Cause like your, your better grounds is weird shaped. Uh, yeah. But this one, that flow rate's still fast. Look at that. But this one doesn't have as heavy of a slant as that as the other Malia. Yeah. yeah. It's the lot. Yeah. Can we give some brews? Yeah. Yeah, take them. I mean, these are all brews. Like, what does that bed look like? I'm making that be so yeah. actually quite even. Yeah, very so even still. Oh, that's because we did that. Yeah, but that was still a two-minute long brew. Matt tasted this, the, the, or, the or on an or Oh, yeah, yeah. So you've had this coffee on Oreo, and then we're going to compare now on the Pegasus. Thank you. It doesn't even smell like a Diego. It smells too... It doesn't smell as perfumey as I feel like most Diego's yeah, smell. It smells super processed. It smells yeah. like a good Ethiopian. Oh, yeah, he is it as Gesha, yeah. Alright, what do we think? Hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so let's wait for this to cool down. This brew has now cooled off. What do we think? The earlier brew kind of tastes like a V60. They all taste like V60s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this looks like a V60. But I'm just like, what is the selling point of this? I guess like the flow is fat, seems to be faster. It's cheap, it's really cheap. Oh yeah, and it's also really cheap. It tastes like a V60. 
It's got that berryness. It's got a little slimy synthetic feel to it. <laughs> oh, well, that's this coffee, that's right? Wait, that's the processing. This, this is sake? this okay. is sake. But like the overall flavor profile and style of this is very V60. Oh, wait, but I think but this, this coffee did better on here. Like the, the how do I say it? On the, what is the Oreo? It brought out more of like the, the, the processing flavor. Uh huh. And then, so then, yeah, Matt was like, it tastes like sake. <laughs> well, that's a good like thing. Like the alcohol. It's a very stupid thing to say, but it tastes wet and slippery. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's this coffee. I'm trying to find reasons to say this is different than a V60, but this tastes like a V60. Right, we have like three more drippers to go. Oh, I, yeah, well, <laughs> They're all I'm gonna here, taste like I, V60s. I, yeah, well, I'm here to try the Pegasus, not the, not any not of these yet. Stuff. Well, wait, do we have a 01 V60? Uh, can yeah. I, okay, I, I, all right, so now let's just, we're just gonna brew side by side 01 V60 and the Pegasus, and we'll see if we taste any differences. So here is, 01 V60 next to 01 Pegasus. As we see, they look basically the same. Um, the difference is that a V60 is slightly taller. The internal geometries seem to be basically the same in terms of the ribbing. It's just the actual bottoms are gonna be different. So, you know, we have the big hole with the uh, little ribbings that go down from the full entire side. This has the same kind of effect, but then it goes into these um, two holes. So they're very similar. It's just if you hold it to the very, very side, you can see that this is much more, um, you know, this is wider. The bottom of the bed here is wider versus this. It's is like this a V27. Like, I don't I don't know at this point if this like, here's another does too point. much. Yeah. Like, what so do like, these angles mean? Four holes. <laughs> Four holes versus two holes, and then this one's like, you know, we're t it's like 90% the same at this point. Yeah. I just don't know if it's like... Meaningfully different. Meaningfully different, right? It, it's fun. Hey, this stacks nicely. Yeah, because it's the same. <laughs> we, how do we, what do we describe this? This is like wide. Oblong. Oblong what, bed. What is this? Like, like oval. It's like, oh, oh is this hole? is for air, an air hole. So you can't stall your... Uh... That's interesting because they made it only like halfway. Mm -hmm. But it's like, does that oval bed, at oval shape at the bottom of the bed do anything versus the hole? I, I don't know, but let's find out. Is this the in-between of the cones and the flat bottom? It, I, I mean, yeah. Maybe. Well, the difference here is that I see that you still get all the benefits of the really fast flow of a lot of these, like, you know, it's uneven extraction as they'd say. Oh no. no. We love, we love even but like my guess is that this the water kind of pulls at the bottom slightly more so it should theoretically flow slower so we should and you could get like more body i don't know whatever you put more holes in it buy like three. yeah we should buy three more pegasus i mean this thing's like how much is this thing it's like five bucks right i think this is initial initially more effort to do the, the trapezoid fold versus the normal it's like one more fold yeah hey that's more effort that's more effort. My time is valuable. Time. <laughs> One more fold, guys. No, it, it's it's significantly more effort. Yeah, it's double the it's folds. It's double the folds. Yeah. 12 grams each. Hold on, I'm gonna snip these. Okay, yeah. For visual. Or right, so I can get closer to this bottle. Uh oh. Oh, you're, yeah, you can brew this. <laughs> but it, it doesn't that feel so weird to pour into? Because it's not circular. Exactly. I'm used to this one. I guess like it is circular at the top, so like you could pour circular at the top, but Why? like it's harder. It it doesn't feel as like intuitive to do that. I feel so you definitely can't use like a what's it called mellow drip. Well, I mean this is still circular at the top, but it'll just like oh yeah, it'll be your... very weird. You'll get water hitting the actual edges of the the dripper. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's do it. The, the kettle temp is different. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta make sure the kettle temp is correct. Okay, so we have that. Uh, what we have observed though, is that the flow rate of this is still very, very steady. I mean, regardless, like we did a ton of agitation. Yeah, I mean, it looks completely fine. 01 V60 time.
really letting the Japanese guy. <laughs> Brute. For us. I mean, still, you know, very steady flow rate, but it's out of one hole versus two holes. We're using like crazy, crazily good coffees. So yeah. it's like, does. It's, it is definitely is inflated. <laughs> we got to break out the Pete's Major D's to tell mm. to tell the real difference between the two drippers. Mm. No, it's pretty fast. Oh, it is fast. Yeah, I mean, these are fast. I mean, this is T90, so it's going to be fast. Well, that's a V60, right? Yeah, so it's just like... T90? Yeah. T90 V60 versus... Cafec trapezoid in Pegasus. I mean, same grind, grind size and essentially pouring structure. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 206. Uh, it's so close. 207. Yeah. Winner. 210. Okay, they both basically stopped at 210. So, that, okay, you're really good at making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's give it a try. <laughs> they look the same. This one looks anamorphic. Like, it's little. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let me look at those beds. Let me get outputs too. Dang, 20, yeah, 20, 201, 201.3. The beds look basically the same except for, yeah. This, this one's just an like, this yeah, so. oval. <laughs> that is so funny. And we've been measuring, uh, this is Pegasus, and this is V60. So what are the differences? What are the numbers? This is... Low extraction. <laughs> Low extraction. Okay, 19.7% on Pegasus. This is probably 20, right? Yeah. yeah. And then 20.2. This is very nice. The Pegasus one is very nice. It's like very smooth. Yeah. The V60 is the one I'm trying here right now. Um, we are using a very goofy coffee. So, you know, this is a, goofy. it is pretty goofy. It's pro very processed. Yeah, like these Diego coffees, I tend to not try to extract too much. Mm -hmm. V60 is extracted slightly higher, but it does have that like kind of drying finish. It tastes like a V60, you know, it tastes, it tastes like what you'd expect a V60 to taste like but it has like a, a slight drying finish that I'm not particularly liking, but also this is a weird coffee. And now I'm gonna try Pegasus. Slightly lower extraction, but there, like if I were to nitpick the last, the V60 brew, it, I just didn't like yeah. how it's slightly finished. The flavor separation and like all that other stuff at the beginning is great. If you weren't thinking about it that hard, it'll be fine. Yeah, it, it, it was great. Now let's do this. That's really good. 90, yeah, like 99% of this brew is exactly the same as the other brew, like in terms of how you're getting presented acidity. The body of this is also quite similar, but the finish has cleaned up on this. And I think that's because the extraction is lower <laughs> for this yeah. type of coffee. It, it just finishes nicer. It's not as harsh. It's not, it doesn't have that slight drying effect, but I mean, I'm nitpicking here yeah like this is absolute nitpicking here they both taste 90 95 it's not drying where the same. it's like you have a bad grinder and you're grinding too fine mm -hmm. kind of drying it's yeah. just yeah this is like the coffee here but the pegasus is better but the pegasus is better all right we gotta buy sell your b60s man. get rid of them <laughs> it's time to upgrade <laughs> <laughs> okay i kind of want to try one more with like a wash coffee yeah. like a normal coffee we are going to brew this again but not with a insanely processed coffee. So wh which coffee is this now? Uh, hydrangea El Pet. This is Hydrangea El Pet, which is still processed, but not like five million words processed. It's just the innovative process. Innovative processing. I think it's more natural as a oval than a perfect circle, mm. you know? Yeah, I oh, can see that. Fast. It is fast. It yeah, circle drip, maybe circle drippers are, yeah, it's, it's time to upgrade. Oh, how long did it take them to figure it out that? <laughs> Ovals are better. I'll brew V60. The question remains, why is it called Pegasus? I, I don't know. I actually don't know why this is called Pegasus. I think that's like an actual coffee store, like coffee store. I'm also pouring basically at the same flow rate on both of these, which is around like four mils per second, if you were curious. Stop at 215. 
Yeah, so this stopped at 215. This looks like it's gonna stop around exactly 215, 210. That was 215, this is probably 215. Yeah, this is okay. basically the same, 215. One is oval and the other is a circle. I'm curious, you know, cir do you, do you want circle at the top, but it's still like V versus like this, this versus this. Do you want your super technical manual? Yeah, yeah. We, I, 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 do you now, want to know? Do you want to know? Yeah, now let's look at measurements for fun and see. Jesus. So far, we like the lower extraction Pegasus. Lower extraction. Lower extraction. No, we can. There's official ones. Yeah. Well, we haven't been using official ones because we couldn't really buy the official ones. No, I should have bought them when I got them. So from they fit pretty close. But they're not a perfect I fit. guess it could fold harder farther in. Yeah. But, I mean, our brews have been fine, so yeah. I, don't, I don't really... But four holes. Four holes versus two holes. Why is the efficiency? <laughs> we did our measurements. What do we have? Pegasus. As you notice, I've crossed it out a lot because measuring is hard. <laughs> so, 1.34. Okay, same TDS on both of these, somehow. But, like, your... your output I'll put you is going to be a little so. different. But 19.36% versus 19.56%. So I don't close. think it's very close. And I don't know if we're going to be able to taste the difference there. Yeah, right, I'll I turn around and we'll pour it for you blind. Oh, okay. All right. Pour it to I'm, I'm over here. I don't know which coffee he's doing. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm here. Does this fit well? Let's see. Okay. okay. All right. Even I don't know which one. I don't know. I actually don't know which one this is. Oh, if you cut the filter, you can never use this. Well, I have to taste this one first and then you compare it to the next one. Oh, you're gonna say Koya? No, like, you just put it. You just put it over? Yeah. So, if, my, if I were to use the cup we brewed before this, my initial guess here would probably be V. Uh, <laughs> not. No, wait, not V60. Pegasus. This is my guess, but I'd have to try the other one now. Okay. All right. Wait. I. I. Let me. Let me get. Let me get some of the oh, other. Okay. Okay. Go okay. away. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Just okay. mix both. No. <laughs> <laughs> just mix both. <laughs> Wait. They taste so similar. Okay. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. It doesn't. Yeah. No, but they taste so similar. But there's something. I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to think. Let me, let me think. Something insightful, please. Something insightful? Let me try it. Let me try it. Uh, uh, so, they both taste like 99% the same in terms of like the initial presentation of acidity, the flavor separation, but I still think there's something slightly different in the finish. I'm probably going to get this wrong. I have a 50% chance getting this right, but. I feel like the first one it wait, hold on, hold on, let me verify. Okay. This is the this is Elpet, right? Yeah. This is uh yeah, Hydrangea Elpet. I'm gonna brew something. I think the first one is Pegasus. Um my guess is because I think the finish is slightly better. Is that your final answer? Is that, answer? that I'll just go I'm just gonna make that my final answer. You're right. Yes. Gonna, I know how to drink coffee, but <laughs> like they're so similar. But this is bad now. Outdated. <laughs> it's outdated. V60 outdated. Time to upgrade to Pegasus. The the future, right? Yeah, like you do this type of brew versus <laughs> this type. Like, they taste exactly the same, but the, the finish is slightly cleaner. Gentler. Right? Yeah, They're, gentler. It's like a bump in the end. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know. What do we take away from this? I don't is know. What is our takeaway? Like, I don't really think this is a meaningful difference. I'm not going to buy. Yeah, like if you have a V60, I don't really think you should, like it's not an upgrade. It's like oh, a it's, side uh, grade. Paper, paper availability. Yeah, paper availability is much worse. Okay, so I think the takeaways from this are that I think this is good, fine. like it's fine. The amount of flexibility of like, what can you do with this is much worse because of paper, fi paper filter availability. I don't well, have like cafe lights for this the, or the darks. Question, or... The question here is like, this thing, right? We don't know how the Hario paper is. And because we can't buy easily because we can't buy this brewer in the U.S. yet. So once, yeah, you can't once, buy this in the U.S. Once, yet. Once they release this brewer, we can buy the hard oil yeah. filters easily. Is there an O2 size of this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But you know, right now, currently, as of today, it's like I can't buy this in the U.S. I can buy O1 Hario in the U.S. Uh, V60 in the U.S. And I have a million paper filters that I can put in this. 
Um, and well, that lets you, you really... You can scale down. Right. You can buy big papers, too big for it, and then cut it down and it'll still fit. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it with the trapezoids. Yeah, trapezoid's not as straightforward like that. I think there are only like three or four different trapezoid filters on the market, like Hario. A lot of browns. A lot of brown, yeah, a lot of brown paper filters, Cafec. But Cafec doesn't do like the whole range of Cafex like they do for the uh, V60 filters. So like, yes, I think like in this context of us trying to very, very similar brewers and very, very similar uh, paper filters, I like the Pegasus brew a little bit better, but I don't, but it's like, if I were to only own one of these, I would own a V60 because that lets me do more stuff. But this does, you know, taste slightly better if you are actually A-B-ing them. I'm talking, but they're both so good you're already. Minutely optimizing on flavor, but you're yeah. having a huge downgrade in availability of Right. Lifestyle. Yeah, and, and obviously you can't buy this right now. So and and, and again, it's more work. More it's work. more work to get this to work yes, because one extra, one extra fold, man, that's that's a big that's a deal breaker. Yeah. You can't really fit in Yeah, you, I guess you could try negotiating it. Yeah, it doesn't you know, you can't fit a V sixty filter in here where Yeah, that's real well, ugly. Yeah. It's cool that Hario's making this. Um, I just cannot really say that you should get one of these over a V60. Yeah. At this point in time, uh, maybe when it becomes much more available and there are more paper filters, that might be a way to, to you know, a convincing reason why. But like, I think a V60 is still king. V6, the V60 is too good. But yeah, that that's just a you know quick look at the Hario Pegasus. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. But uh, yeah, thanks for spending the time watching this video. See you guys around.